Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is another video that you haven't seen before in this channel because I'm experimenting on making new videos for you to enjoy. So for today's video, as you can see on the thumbnail, it is all about crocheting and I'm gonna teach you how to crochet this cute flower that you can use as a hair clip, as your bag accessory, and also as a clothing design like this. So before we go to the tutorial, I'm just gonna introduce myself. For those who don't know, hi, I'm Aldair in Genesis, a content creator, a vlogger, small business owner, and a college student. And for those who know, welcome back again to my channel. So without further ado, let's go to the tutorial. So these are the tools that you'll be needing to this project. First is a yarn, any yarn, but I'm using an acrylic yarn for fly, a 4mm hook, or any hook you prefer to use, a thread cutter, you can add beads, but this is optional. So the first step is get your yarn and make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you need to wrap around the yarn on your two fingers and put the yarn on the center and pull it through the hole. And that's how you make a slip knot. So for the second step, get your hook and insert it inside the loop and tighten it until it fits the hook. Then proceed to making a chain. To make a chain, you need to yarn over and pull through the loop. So to make that, put your hook under the yarn, then grab the yarn and pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through. So that's chain three. Another one, yarn over and pull through. So continue that until you make 11 chains. I'm on my last chain and for you to count how many chains you have done, you just have to count all the V's that you are seeing on the screen. And for the second row, you have to insert your hook on the second chain. Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over again, pull through. And that's how you make a single crochet. And you have to make another single crochet on every chain of the row. So you have to yarn over again, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. That's your second single crochet. Do another 8 single crochet, and I'll see you at the end. I'm on my last chain, so for this chain, you have to do three single crochet. This is your first single crochet. Turn over, pull through. And on your second single crochet, turn your work so we can work on the other side. So that's three single crochet and we're gonna work on the other side. So for the first chain, we're gonna make a double crochet. So first yarn over, insert the hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two holes, only two holes, then yarn over again and pull through another hose. So that's how you make a double crochet. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through another, the remaining two. So that's your second double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through two, and pull through all. You're only gonna make four of these, so this is the third one, and this is the last one. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through two, and pull through the last two. And that is four double crochet. And for the next chain, we're gonna make a triple crochet. You're gonna yarn over twice. One, two. Insert your hook to the chain, yarn over again. Then you should have four loops on your hook. One, two, three, four. Then you have to yarn over, pull two loops. 
Then yarn over again, fold through another two loops. One loop, two loops. And lastly, yarn over again and pull through all the remaining loops. And that's how you make a triple crochet. We already made two triple crochet and you have to make another three triple crochet to make five triple crochet. Then I'll see you at the end of the row. So this is the last triple crochet and on the first chain that you made, on this side, you will insert your hook and make a single crochet to turn your work, then repeat the pattern in reverse. So first, you're gonna make 5 triple crochet, then after that, you're gonna make 4 double crochet. It should look like this. So for the last step, you're gonna make a slip stitch. You're gonna insert your hook and pull through and pull through again. And chain one to secure the yarn. Pull a medium hole, then cut the yarn. This is our first petal and to make a full flower, you have to make another four petal and have five petal in total to make the flower. So as you can see, it's a bit messy, so we're gonna hide those messy string part. So to hide it, you just have to use your crochet hook and pull through all the thread on the inside of the petal. You're gonna hide it onto the petal itself. So as long as the strand is hidden, you can cut the remaining strand and it will not be visible again. So that's how you hide your messy strand of the yarn so just repeat this four times on the other petals and you can have these clean petals so for the next step we're gonna arrange them into a one cool flower i forgot to mention but you're also gonna be needing a glue gun and a glue stick to stick all the petals together so first is arrange the petal on top of each other one by one and you're gonna Put a glue on the edge of the petal, just half of it, like this. And you're gonna stick the second petal, so like that. And then repeat this on all the petals until you make a one whole flower. And on the last petal, if the space is still too big, we can do this to tighten the space. And repeat the last step on the last petal. And you're gonna end up having a one whole piece of flower. So to fix your mistake, you just have to cut all the stick glue that is already dried up. So for the next step, this is optional. You can put a bead or anything on the center of the flower. And I'm gonna put this round bead. I'm gonna choose between this white or the red one but I prefer the red one more because it complements the color of the flower and to stick it I'm gonna put a glue on the bottom of the bead and stick it on the center of the flower so it can hide the small hole in there and it looks like this you can end up with this if you're gonna make it a keychain or a decor but i'm gonna make it a clip so i'm adding a alligator clip on the back of the flower and i'm gonna stick it right there so as same as before i'm gonna put a glue on the clip so it can stick on the back of the flower so i'm just gonna put this amount 
because if it overflows it makes that crumpy um glue on the back of the flower and we do not want that so i'm just gonna put the right amount then i'm gonna push it on the back of the flower until it dries out so i'm gonna just tap 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 on the back of the flower until it dries so it's already dried and as you can see the glue is hidden because i didn't put much and also i have a recommendation if you want a more cleaner outcome you can use a super glue instead of a glue as you can see on this blue flower the blue is not visible and it's cleaner than the red one because i use the super glue on the blue one and i use the stick glue on the red one you can also try this design if you use a white yarn you can put eyeshadow on the middle so it has this gradient effect and you can fold the leaf so it has that real flower like effect so this is the white one and i put also a clip and these are all the flowers that i made so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something and if you like this kind of video please let me know in the comment section below and click the like button and subscribe on the red button right here if you haven't and if you like to purchase this kind of crochet pieces i also sell them on my instagram account here or you can message me on my personal account also and if you like to learn more Please comment below some pieces you want me to do a tutorial or visit my TikTok account here to see more tutorials. That's it for today's video. I upload at least once a month. See you on the next one. Bye!